What's possible now with AI that wasn't possible, say, 18 months ago, specifically for the kinds of problems harmonics are? AI has enough traction, enough exposure at this point that we can start to look at the ability to fine tune a model, that we can start to look at the ability to create knowledge repositories in the form of RAG servers, and that we can start to look at integrating those tool sets into our software, into our database engines, into our application engines. What's different now than 18 months ago is that I can now treat those things as tools and I can run them safely, locally and privately. So I now have an ability to help my customer tell their story in a better way with AI. What I am excited about, just in my office, about what we were able to do two years ago versus now is it allows a subject matter expert, someone who has a lot of entrenched industry knowledge, whether we're talking about a programmer or whether we're talking about a company that makes a bunch of widgets or whether we're talking about someone that builds missile parts, any of these topics, it allows them to work harder and faster and get data that they can use into their hands much more readily. It is an interesting tool when used in the proper way, when given the proper application, allows somebody with the ability to differentiate between just data and data that's actually useful. It just allows them to get a lot done. It's not like the data wasn't out there before. Our ability to go get it and funnel it and get it into our hands faster, is it's incredible.